He says, nobody will ever follow these guys up unless you do it. I've got three fraternities of my own to follow up. So I said, well, you know, I don't know how to do this. I'm, I don't know how to be a witness. I brought my breath mints. I practice uh, in front of the mirror. God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life, you know, and I always try to look pleasant. And I'll never forget the first card I went to, to see, a guy named Pete in the ATO house. And I shared the four spiritual laws just like I'd been prepared to do. And, and I got to the end and I said, Pete, do you think this is something you'd like to do to receive Christ as your savior? And he said, no, I don't think so. He said, that's uh, good you guys come around the house, gets us thinking, but I'm pretty happy the way I am and I'm, I think we're okay. So I go back over to the staff guy, Eddie's apartment. I go, Eddie, I, I can't do this. I don't know what went wrong. Here's what I said and he just didn't want to, he wasn't interested and you better take these cards back because I'm not making any progress and I'm, I don't think I'm cut out for it. And he said, wait a minute, it's not your job to talk people into receiving Christ. That's the job of the Holy Spirit. And he went through the ministry of the Holy Spirit with me and I prayed to be filled with the Spirit. Well, the next night I had this other appointment set up with a guy in the Sigma New House. They just had the annual toga party. It was just his wall was papered with nudes and you know, and as I'm walking up the, the, the walk to the front, I'm thinking, well, I, I want the Holy Spirit to speak through me. And so I pray, Holy Spirit, I don't know how this works, but if you could talk through me somehow, I want you to do that tonight. And I began to share the four laws. And as I was sharing with him, he would ask me questions and I would remember verses of scripture that would exactly answer his question. And I thought, this is really something. I better not think about it or it'll go away, which was the Spirit speaking through me. And I got to the end of this presentation and I said, John, do you think this is something you'd like to do to invite Christ to come into your life? And I look over at him and there's, there's tears coming down his cheek. And he said, this is what I've been looking for all of my life. And my heart was just beating and I said, okay, well, I'll pray prayer and you can pray after me and and I'm dear God thank you for dying on the cross and right in the middle I remember it should be Christ so it came out dear God uh Christ thank you for dying on the cross for me he prayed right after me dear God uh Christ thank you for dying on the cross for me and we got to the end of it and I said okay welcome welcome to the family I'm your brother now do you have a Bible no I'll bring you a Bible tomorrow and I tear off to Eddie's apartment you know this works you can ask the Holy Spirit to speak through you and he really will and I think that day, I just, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to help college students come to Christ. And I, I was never the same after that. So all, all I want to do is say, I'll go wherever you want me to go. I'll do whatever you want me to do. I'll give away whatever you want me to give away. I'll say whatever you want me to say. And that was the beginning of me uh, finding out what incredible joy there is in helping people to come to Christ.